caring for your prosthetic liner. A gel liner is an interface that goes directly against the residual limb. A gel liner can provide cushioning, provide even distribution, and reduce friction. The gel liner can also provide suspension, or the way the prosthesis remains attached to the limb. There are many different styles of gel liners available that can be used with various types of prosthetic sockets. Some gel liner materials are silicone, urethane, or mineral based. These substances are known to be bioinert, which means that they, th they rarely react with the skin. <coughs> liners vary in thickness and stiffness and usually have some type of fabric on one or both sides. When there is pressure within the prosthetic socket, the gel and the liner works by distributing pressure more evenly around the residual limb. The gel also helps to reduce friction against the skin that may occur while walking. Gel liners, which are used to suspend the prosthesis, will have a pin or strap attached to the bottom, which fastens to the prosthetic socket with a clip or locking mechanism. Putting on your prosthetic liner. First, turn the liner inside out. Make sure the liner is clean and dry and has no substance on it that may irritate the skin. If instructed, apply vitamin D or other ointment on the skin. Make sure that a good portion of the bottom end of the liner is exposed and place it flat against the end of your limb. If there is a pin at the end of your liner, be sure to align it properly. With light pressure, roll it up over the limb. Do not pull or tug at the liner. Make sure no air is trapped in the liner. If there is fabric on the outside of the liner, be sure not to tear it with fingernails or jewelry. Care and maintenance. Since some liners tend to absorb bodily odors and perspiration, the wearer must keep the liner clean. Proper hygienic protocol can also reduce the chance of skin irritation. First, Invert or turn the liner inside out so that the gel is exposed. Check the liner for signs of damage. Sometimes there is cracking around the ring. Clean the liner with a non-allergenic soap and warm water. Do not use bleach or soaps with perfumes, lotions, or deodorants. Rinse the gel thoroughly and blot dry with a towel. Return to its normal position and hang to dry overnight, sometimes vertically or sometimes putting a paper towel inside the liner on your countertop. If you suspect the liner has been damaged, is not fitting properly, or is irritating to your skin, meet with your prosthetist to correct the problem.